Hey you, Archie here. Last episode I built this huge Minecraft tavern. Today I'm finishing the dock and we're completing the big dig. Did I mention 10,000 TNT? Let's do this. Behold my stuff. I spent 150 Minecraft days collecting 200,000 resources so we can go full throttle build mode. So, it feels like time lapse time. Grab a cuppa, let's go. Hey Gerald, look, I know things were rough last week. I wasn't particularly happy with how you ran the storage room. However, I have a new job for you. You see, we've had an influx of visitors to the city, and I think they need support from our council. So I'm naming you the Community Liaison Officer. You do a great job. Congratulations. Maybe that'll get him out of the attic. Anyway, we have three new Minecraft houses to fill out the port, starting with this weird L diagonal house. I love the chemist P outside, I'm gonna have to put something under there, plus a nice big window to view the hustle and bustle of the city. Then we have the house near the hole. I wanted to incorporate a lot of greenery, and I think the circle windows are a nice feature as is the tower. It's important to have some variance in design, despite sticking to a colour palette, and I'm thinking I'm achieving that so far. Finally, the diagonal house with its big bay window on the second floor, plus of course our fantasy style chimney and a nice balcony to enjoy the view. Definitely going to add some trees and maybe a gazebo to the water's edge later in the video. You know what, despite the narrow streets impeding views of the bells, I think it really adds to the character of the city. The busy nature of the fishing port, if you get what I mean. Anyway, over here we have our latest arrival, Tim. Now Tim very nicely suggested the name Fitz for one of our horses, so here he is. We also have Norse the horse. Golden carrots, huh? Looking to breed the horses, Tim? Actually not a bad idea. We'll look into that come the update. Speaking of 1.20, let's talk about the update while I ride Fitz over to the next project. I'm really looking forward to the new update, 
there's some interesting features like the new woods, uh, hanging signs, the sniffer, armor trims, etc. Um, let me know in the comments what you are looking forward to the most. Uh, I won't be updating to 1.20 immediately as I need to wait for certain mods like Sodium and Replay mod to update, but hopefully we'll be experiencing the new content in one to two weeks after the update. Anyway, we're here. Fitz, you stay there. This area needs a lot of work, so let's get into preparing for the big dig. Firstly, I need to take this hill back a few notches to make room for the factory district. Then, do a simple terraforming job, taking the hill to a steeper incline. The next issue are these patches of water, so let's break them down into smaller segments with some gravel, before heading to the Guardian Temple for some sponges. Now, I only found one room in two temples. So these will have to do. Let's get draining. Okay, that's the ravine and caves drained. I also did some of the inlets by the ocean. Now let's flatten and expand this area to Y70. I'll do something about the sea cliffs in another episode, but for now let's place an obscene amount of grass and dirt. Luckily, I previously stocked up and got even more from this project. Okay, now let's move on to the dig itself. I'm taking this giant hole all the way down to Y minus 20. So this is gonna take... You know what, scratch that. This is no longer the big dig. It's now the big boom. So let's grab some lovely, lovely diorite, granite, and andesite while we can. Then I'm going to patch the sides of the hole and dig the edges all the way down to Y minus 20 so I can create a wall of water to stop any TNT causing too much devastation. Now I need a ridiculous amount of gunpowder and sand. Here's a bunch of gunpowder so let's go harvesting sand. I come to realise I substituted mining for mining but, you know what, this is more fun. Plus, it's much easier to gather sandstone now. Blur. Lovely, lovely TNT. And yet, I miscalculated. Too little gunpowder, too much sand. So back to the raid farm I go. Might as well take some emeralds and redstone too. And now we have 199 stacks of TNT. That's well over 10,000 TNT blocks. Now we need a machine. A machine I'm gonna call DestructorBot 4000. Locked. Primed. And loaded. I present DestructorBot 4000. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't tested DestructorBot, but it sure looks magnificent. It's probably inefficient and over the top, but I just based it on similar things I'd seen other Minecrafters use. Anyway, tomorrow we rain hellfire. Let's sleep for safety, and in three, two, one, go. Well, I'd say that was a massive success. I'm down at Y minus 12, minus 13, so only a few more layers to go, and I need the deep slate anyway. 
so I'll clean up the sides, clear out the water and get us down to Y-20. Well, this was one hell of a project. My poor tools are very angry at me. But we got a lot of room down here for something special in the next episode. Plus, in the episode after that, I'm tackling a hundred days of constant building in the city. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit the bell to be notified. As there is going to be a lot more progress coming soon. Believe me, you do not want to miss out. Speaking of the city, let's head over there now to finish the interiors and landscaping. I wonder where that Gerald has got to. Hyacinth, have you seen him around? No. Hmm. Well, time for landscaping. And with that, the fishing port is completed. All of the interiors have been done, so I think it's time to have a look around. But I've been chatting a lot this episode, it's been a bit loud and leery, so let's just enjoy a quiet musical montage of the interiors. Should have known I'd find you here. Have you even left the house? Have you done any work? Come on, Gerald. Ah, oh, I thought not. You know what, Gerald? You're fired. Well, fired again. Let's have a look at the port with shaders. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like check out more of my content and let your friends know. Thank you for watching, take care and have a splendid day. Archie out.